South Korea is pulling out all the stops to tame a wave of bedbug infestations. Over the next four weeks, the government will carry out massive inspections and take preventive measures to curb the infestations. The country reported a rise in bedbug infestations in recent months. The reddish brown, wingless parasites have been seen in lodging facilities, bathhouses, and other places across the country deemed vulnerable to the pest, such as public transportation and dormitories. A student reported being bitten by bedbugs in a dormitory at Kimyang University in Tegu in mid September. The following month, live bedbugs and larvae were found in a sauna in the Siogu in Incheon. Bedbugs have also been reported in Buchan, Yangdangpogu in Seoul, and Busan. From October to November 6, the South Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency had also received a total of 11 bedbug-related reports. The number of confirmed or suspected cases of bedbug appearances has risen to about 30 nationwide on Tuesday. According to government data, reported Yonhap. From November 13 to December 8, the government will conduct inspections of bedbugs at vulnerable facilities such as in public transportation, dormitories and bathhouses. Facilities with bed bugs will be disinfected immediately, according to the government's plan, reported Yonhap News Agency on Tuesday. Under the plan, the government will also convene weekly meetings to review and update measures to contain bed bug infestations. In Jiangi Province, authorities plan to inspect more than 5,000 accommodations and saunas by the end of November. Bedbugs do not transmit infectious diseases. However, they feed on human blood at night while people are sleeping and this can lead to secondary skin infections. During the day, the parasites usually hide in places such as the seams of mattresses, inside cracks or crevices, behind wallpaper, or any other clutter around a bed. Moving forward, the number of reported cases will likely increase, said a government official who was not named in the Yonhap report. There are perceptions that bed bugs are attributable to individuals and some refrain from filing a report because of concerns it may be seen as a sign of bad hygiene. The number of reports is expected to increase, said the official. The government said it will push to import more effective pesticides and conduct a study on the infection route of bed bugs and their resistance to pest control. The measures were prepared in a government-wide meeting that was attended by various ministries, as well as 17 metropolitan and provincial governments. The Seoul Metropolitan Government has began inspecting more than 3. 000 public baths, saunas, hotels and other establishments. The city government has also enhanced preventive measures against bed bugs on airport limousines and city tour buses. We will enhance preemptive measures as bed bugs cause serious damage economically and psychologically. Said Ms. Park Yumi, an official in charge of citizens' health at the city government. The bed bug infections have spoke people in the country, such as Mr. Lim Myung Woo, who runs a private English and mathematics academy with his wife in Incheon. The 37 year old told the Korea Times he and his wife have stopped going to the cinemas. We used to see movies at reduced admission fees in the morning because we opened our academy in the afternoon. But we decided to stop going to theaters for a while as we are worried about bed bug bites or carrying them to our workplace or home, he said. Another person who is concerned with the current bed bug infestation in the country is so based office worker Kim Jin Hai. The 40-year-old saw a bug on a curtain in her living room and thought that it was bed bug, reported the Korea Times. My husband caught the bug and told me it wasn't a bed bug. That was a big relief. Said Miss Kim.
but I am always worried about my husband who frequently goes on business trips across the country. During the trips, he has no choice but to stay at accommodations when there are many reports about bedbugs nationwide.